Welcome to HYCM Insight with myself, Giles Cochran. Now, the market move for the session ahead is as follows. When Netflix announced its earnings in April, it sent shares plummeting lower. Netflix announced a drop in subscribers for the first time in a decade. Furthermore, they also reported that they were expecting a further fall of 2 million subscribers for the coming quarter. However, they also announced a plan for a lower price but ad-supported subscription option. Now, last week, the New York Times cited a note saying that the plan could be in operation by year-end. So will Netflix share prices be able to gain on hopes that this plan will reverse the company's falling subscriber numbers? Now, over the last 10 years, you can see Netflix has gained an average of 14.29% between May the 17th and July the 16th. The largest gain was in 2015 with a 31.20% profit. And the company has not lost value during this period once. So does this mean time is ready for more gains to come for Netflix? Major trade risks. If consumers continue to feel the pinch of higher prices, then optional consumable items like paid for TV are likely to see lower levels of demand. The at-home paid-for TV service is also now very competitive, with both Amazon Prime and Disney Plus competing for subscribers. Remember, HYCM clients can access the Season X product in order to analyse over 25,000 different currency pairs, indices, commodities, as well as individual stocks. So please do contact your account manager for a free trial to get started right away. Certain products and services mentioned herein may or may not be available to all clients, depending on which HYCM Capital Markets Group entity their trading account adheres to.